everybody and welcome back to the channel we're uh we're back in with kill the crows our lovely isabel and or isabella here whichever the name feels like being pronounced i guess i still don't know how that works but uh yeah we're going to be doing it difficulty five and we just recently unlocked this fractured horn it's not a cornucopia a fractured ram's horn likely used as an ornament it bears claw marks that resemble those of a wolf so we're gonna go ahead and slap that on um fast reload with an empty magazine or let's go ahead and take our rifleman gloves yeah that looks good so what we're gonna do right now is there's an achievement called battering ram where you kill a boss by headbutting them and to my knowledge now the only way to do that is with this fractured ram horn and um, how that works is dodge eliminates enemies upon contact uh i'm guessing that's the headbutt so we need to kill three specters with showdown so uh we will not be taking the big iron because we need to use a, uh, a curse, I guess. What do we take? I guess? Mm -hmm. Let's just go ahead and bring a classic peace bringer. Sure. And for our curse... L mm hmm. Charges two. Growing Hatred is the classic. It fires a bullet that tracks enemies one after the other. And the red classic crow eye. Let's just do Piercing Moonlight. Because that's the most recent one and it seems to be the most effective. So yeah, we're going to do this loadout. Let's see, we have all the showdowns unlocked. I have all the guns unlocked. And all we need to do is kill three specters, which, if I remember correctly, it's like those little spooky ghost guys that float over and then reveal themselves to go like, Bleh! and then they're in your face. And then you just shoot them dead because they're not that great. But the real kicker priority of this, I guess, is uh, headbutting a boss. So let's jump in there. But, I mean, it's good that we unlocked difficulty 5 because magicians and specters appear earlier. I think that means they'll come around, like, at 200 kills, maybe? I'm, I don't know. They normally come around. Ooh. And a pink. Nice. Very cool. Pop, pop. Ooh, missed that one. Reloaded. Oh. I'm recording this first thing in the morning, right as soon as I wake up. So, uh, excuse any rust or awful gunplay on my part. But again, that's always just excuses. You know what they say, get good. Get good, nerd. Uh, jump. Oh! I forgot I had the... <laughs> I had the battering ram. <laughs> that kind of surprised me. Oh, stop. Stop. Woo. Reloading. Pop, pop, pop. And then right there, bam, huge shot. Probably killed hundreds of crow cultists. Bam, dead. That's pretty sick, nasty. And now we got to headbutt this man's here. Bop. Got to get in close to him. That's for sure. Oop. And bop, dead. Dead, dead, dead. And... Ooh, that was close. We had a good opportunity there. Oop. Gotcha. 
And... Mmm! Battering ram, headbutt of a boss. That's actually kind of helpful, honestly. I don't know if I can kill multiple enemies with it. That'd be pretty sick if we can. I guess I should give it a try, no? Ooh. And pop. <laughs> Poor Isabelle's head. <laughs> but my gosh, is that effective. Ooh. I'm a little scared to try it out on multiple enemies. I ain't gonna lie. Uh. Bop, bop. Stop. Mmm, now we're gunslinging, boys. Bop, bop, bop. Bop, bank. I like that the ram bounces you back. So it doesn't leave you, like, in a bad spot. Hmm. Bop. And bop. Oh, that is so nice, dude. Okay, now here's the kicker. Ah, got it. And bop, 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 bop. Dead. Easy. So now maybe we get some specters? Maybe, like, they shouldn't come at the 300 mark, because that's when they normally arrive. Right? Or, wait, they normally arrive at the, uh, what's it called? Bam, 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 bam. Oh, oh! My gosh. Um, what was it? I guess they normally show up around, like, five or 600, don't they? Not 600, 500 for sure. Getting a little hectic. I might not. Might need to focus. With the focus up. Stop. Oh, the, ooh, that like dodge roll kind of lasts a bit, don't it? Woo. Stop. <laughs> we blasting, boys. We blasting for sure. Ah. Hmm. Okay. So this is gonna be tricky. So I'm gonna give it another go. I, um, like, it's really my fault. I have so much showdown at my disposal. I just don't use it, dude. And yeah, you know, that's on me, I guess. I just gotta get in the habit of using it. What? Bro. Like, uh, I fucking hate showdowns, dude. Just give me my dual wield, man. Look at the little fucking cat. The little fucking cat's meowing at me. She's like, dude, you suck. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I know. Dodge has a shorter recovery time. That could actually be huge, honestly. And yeah, let's go with that. Sure, fuck it. Bop. Bop, bop. Bop, bop, bop. Bam. Get gone. Bam. That's kind of sick. Good lord! Oh my god! Dude, fucking... Take one of those all the way home to the bank. Probably should be using a showdown that's a little easier to get, no? Maybe the charges mean something. 
And maybe I should get an easier one, though. Ooh, bye-bye. Ugh, I hate everything. Crimson? Classic Crimson? So hold on, let's see. Charge cost 8? Charge cost 7? 9? 7? 9? Yeah, so it doesn't fucking matter. I might as well just use piercing dumb shit and whatever fuck it's called. Oh, back to the classic Crimson, I guess. Bop, 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 bop. Bop, bop, bop. Nice. I mean, speed loader's still pretty fast. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie. Maybe not as fast as I would like, but dead. I gotta utilize the dodge roll more for sure. Oh! I want the world, right? I'm not satisfied with. Uh, what's it called? I'm not satisfied with my simple homestead. I want the world. I want it all. I want the fire rate. I want the reload. I want the power, I guess. Kill you. Bam. Oh, I hit that, that fucking long range guy. I didn't think I would. Reloading. Why? Why? That's so annoying. Oh, I fucking had it too. All right, so we're back. We're using classic growing hatred because that piercing moonlight bullshit failed me one too many times. Dude. It's like, oh. You're missing one more kill, lol. I guess you'll just die now. God, I hate these stupid fucking showdowns. I just want my bullets, dude. Give me more firepower. Fuck all this magic bullshit. Oh, oh nice. I forgot I had the ram horn. Like, I keep forgetting about it. Like, I gotta utilize it more, honestly. Oops, speaking of which. Ba -ba 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 Yikes. There's a lot of them here, but you know what? Not anymore. Pew, pew. Ah! All right, welcome back. Uh, it hasn't been weeks and or a month's time since I've gone for this. It's only been a couple of, it's only like 30 minutes, maybe an hour. So yeah, <laughs> unlike last time with this, I fucking knuckled down and I, I was like, mm-mm. I absolutely hate Showdown because it's just so goddamn easy. And I was just so not used to using it. So that's what was screwing me over because I lost my, my overwhelming firepower. Fire superiority, one would say. And I just wasn't using my Showdowns. But now, I was using my showdown gung-ho, and it wasn't too bad. I managed to get those three specters. I got them with showdown. Uh, and I had locked this thing. XIX, the blind, uncompromising, unyielding, struggle, firm resolve are the positives and the negatives for this are captivated blind irrational downfall so i i don't know what any of that crap means it's probably some kind of like not a trading card obviously but like a tarot card um i don't know why it says kill one of three specters with showdown Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold, hold the, hold the revolver for one second. No, we got it. The thing's just stupid. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, so we unlocked all of the little passives, all of these showdowns, and all of the revolvers. So now, oh, by the way, this is the build I did it with. 
went to the classic peace bringer classic growing hatred and classic just reload my gun faster build because everything else is absolute trash in my opinion but that's just catering to my style of play right i like i like the gunplay i like blasting i say this in every part if you like using showdown pff, dude use whatever you want i like i honestly like the ram horn and the rusty spur you know let me just show you like the ram horn obviously lets you eliminate enemies by dodging into them and only one at a time so it's not too bad it's great for those shield guys and then the Rusty Spur Dodge has a shorter recovery time. I really like that combo, but again, it was just one of those things that uh, I liked shooting over anything else. But I feel like if I was to use the Ram Horn Rusty Spur, uh, growing, mm, excuse me, my yawn, my gr uh, growing hatred, and then I don't know. The P, it's like just any gun, probably the Royal Gunsmith's custom because it has the shotgun under barrel. Or the the partner, just anything, honestly. I think that would be a really aggressive build. That would be really fun to play with. Really fun to watch, too. But it's just a lot to keep in mind because with the dodge roll, you're throwing yourself into danger and or getting bounced back. So you could be bouncing back into an enemy bullet. I, I don't know it's just cool it's there's so many ways to play this you know all right with that said apparently this part's like 20 plus minutes i just looked at the recording so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and cut it there because unfortunately no one watches like the hour <laughs> hour plus content things like that which is understandable you know your time's important but next time we are going to be using Isabella's revolver. Um, piercing moonlight. It's good, but it's just mm, it's very niche, right? Like if you just run around in a circle and get everybody that spawns, sure. I can see how you'd be like, whoa, that's so great. But if you don't do that, like growing hatred is just so damn good, dude. It's just like I'm surrounded growing hatred. Oh, now I'm not surrounded. Easy clap, boy. So, you know, just classic growing hatred. And what we're going to do here for the next time we play... I'm thinking we bring this tarot card, which let's read here. Isabel, again, changed up on the name, came into possession of this tarot card. Hey, I was right. After rescuing a bumbling gunslinger and a young astrologist. Upon drawing this card, the young astrologist wept and offered blessings for her path ahead. Hmm. So yeah, we're going to rock the blind. Which, I don't know, like, just reading the description here, captivated blind, irrational downfall. I, I don't know what that, what none of that means. I mean, I know what it means, goddammit. <laughs> but I don't, I don't know what it means in terms of gameplay. As far as the positives go on compromise on yielding struggle firm i feel like that means we can take a hit and keep going so it's like a it's like a bonus life or something but i feel like the negative it's gonna not let us use our showdown which i mean i'm already i'm already so conditioned to just shooting i shouldn't be too much of it of an issue um, but as saying that, it makes me want to use something up here different for the other one instead of like the classic reload. Dodge has a shorter recovery time. That's always good. Movement speed increase while reloading. That's fantastic. I love that. I might just go with that, honestly. Recover showdown energy when five or more enemies. See, like... <laughs> 
that's another thing you could use if you love using the fucking showdowns, dude. Just like, mm, growing hatred. Or that, not even just the growing hatred, the piercing moonlight. Just line up five guys. Bam. Mm. You got another piercing moonlight right there for you. That's that's crazy. That's good efficiency right there. Leather bandolier, faster reload with an empty mag. That's good, but for me personally, if you don't pair that with the rifleman gloves or some other thing here, like no, I just I just pair that with the rifleman gloves all the time because it's like if you're firing and you don't empty your gun, you just reload. You're reloading faster on the move. But if you empty your gun, then this kicks in. And not only are you moving faster while reloading, you're just reloading faster in general. Absolutely fantastic for the gunplay. Dipping tobacco increases showdown max target. Uh, I mean, that I feel like that's an early game thing. Like when you don't have growing hatred or you don't have... Uh, uh piercing moonlight things like that like the con the blue constellation one or the very first curse you get or the showdown when you like map out how many how many targets you pick and you don't just kill everything around you hmm old harmonica i've never even touched this one standing still slow actually i have and it's not bad but yeah i mean oh it's just all so good honestly Except the snake oil. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Functional oil. Let's you shoot while dodging. I think that's already a thing, and you don't even need this. <laughs> so that this is funny. Uh, improved boots. Movement speed increased briefly after showdown. Mm, I don't see the necessity in something like this, but I could see the utility in it, sure. The shot glass, again, if you're very gung-ho with the showdowns and you're like, you just like opping off of your showdown, like the shot glass. And where is it? The strange locket. Oh, that's a combination right there. Mm. Then the fractured horn. Pretty damn good if you like using your head in more ways than one. I think this is going to be the build, though. Like just a, a good, solid build build i say that but i don't know what that tarot card does so yeah this is gonna be the next time we play however before that before that hear me out hear me out All right i know i'm rambling but hear me out so there's gonna be i guess three more videos there's gonna be this one there's gonna be another one where we go back reread the descriptions for everything we've got and kind of like uh new wrapped up lore video and then the grand finale will be playing it out with isabella's revolver with this fancy tarot card and who knows maybe we'll headbutt another boss <laughs> uh well, yeah thank you very much for watching i do hope you enjoyed i for one enjoyed this it pissed me the hell off dude like Mm, weaning myself off of that extra ammo and just fi like fire superiority. Oh, that was horrible. But showdowns aren't bad. I still don't like him as much as the gunplay. But it is what it is. This game, hmm, it's good. It's good. It caters to a lot of diverse play. I love it. And you know what? If maybe down the road, I'm not, I'm not saying you have to name it after me, but maybe the developers would incorporate like a, a gunslinger mode, <laughs> or I don't know, where you don't have a showdown and you kind of, mm, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> oh man, uh, one can only hope, right? But you know, I'm such a small channel. I don't think. I don't think they'd ever see this, but one can hope. Yeah, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed the parts. I had an absolute blast, even though it pissed me off. With that said, I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Take care.